Hello, I'm Brian Farrell, and welcome to Pace IT's session on printer installation. Today we're going to be talking about basic printer installation, and then we're going to be talking about printer sharing. Now, with that, let's go ahead and jump into this presentation. And of course, we're going to start with basic printer installation. The first thing that you need to know about printer installation is read the manufacturer's instruction for installing the printer. Of key importance is the driver and when to install it on the PC. Printer drivers are software that allows the computer to talk with the printer. They are what determines how the printer will interact with the operating system and can be used to fine tune the printing process. Drivers are developed specifically for the hardware and the operating system on which it will run. Using an incorrect driver may result in loss of printer functionality. Additionally, the functionality of the printer may also be diminished if the driver is not installed at the correct time. So what is required to install a printer? Well, a computer, a printer with the correct drivers, and a connection. So what are your connection options? We start with wired. In the old days, you could use parallel and serial connections, but these are now a legacy option and are getting harder and harder to find. You can use Ethernet. This is connecting the printer and the computer through a direct Ethernet cable or through the wired network. And then there's USB, which is the most common connection in the small office, home office environment for connecting a printer to a computer. You also have some wireless options. First up, there's infrared. This requires a line of sight connection between the device that wants to print and the printer. And this is also considered a legacy option. Some printers allow you to connect to them via Bluetooth. This creates a wireless personal area network between the devices and has a limited distance, but it works well for small devices to connect to the printer. The most common wireless option for connecting to the printer is 80211. This is connecting to the printer via a wireless network connection. This is the most common type of wireless connection to the printer in the small office, home office environment. Now let's move on to printer sharing. And first off, we need to talk about the difference between print device sharing versus printer sharing. Print device sharing is when the printer is placed on the network as a shared resource that is available to all authorized users. Some printers come with built-in connections and print servers. This allows them to easily connect with the network and to handle most print jobs with ease. For some printers to be installed on the network, an additional dedicated print server must be used. The print server will handle all of the requests for the printer as a resource. Then there's printer sharing. This is when the printer is installed on a single computer and that computer shares the printer as a resource that others may use. In this situation, not only does the printer need to be turned on, but the hosting PC must be turned on as well. Now each operating system uses its own process for sharing printers as a resource. This is a good option for the small office home office when it's not feasible to place the printer on the network by itself. However, it may require that additional drivers be added to the computer to accommodate other operating systems. Now let me show you an example of printer sharing. So let's share a printer, but before I begin, let me tell you that this is a Windows 7 operating system. It will be slightly different if you're using XP, Vista, or Windows 8, but it's close enough to get the job done. The first thing that we do is we click on the Start button, and we move to Devices and Printers. Then we click on that, and here are the list of devices and printers under this utility. We're going to share this Brother MFC printer. So I right-click on it, and I come down to Printer Properties. That'll open up this box, and then we go to the Sharing tab, and we click the Share This Printer. If you want to change the name of the printer, here's the box where you change it. We're going to leave it as the default. 
Here's a disclaimer on drivers. If this printer is going to be shared with different operating systems, this is letting me know that I might want to add additional drivers. But I don't want to. All of my machines are going to be Windows 7 or compatible. So we will just move on. The last thing that we do is we click OK. And there we go. That printer is now shared via my laptop. Now that concludes this session on printer installation. We talked about basic printer installation and printer sharing. Now on behalf of Pace IT, thank you for watching this session and I look forward to doing some more.